Luke 27, uh, Luke verse 27 and verse 28. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. I was listening to Caleb a few days ago and they give little blurbs of, of testimony or blurbs of messages and um, the radio host mentioned something similar to this Bible verse where a little girl went home and she told her mom that she was being bullied at school and instead of the mom telling her to fight back or going to the school to complain or going to the uh, the parents of the little girl who was doing the bullying to complain. Instead, the mother and daughter began to pray for this bully. And I think she said within a year or over a, the course of a year, the girl noticed her bully was changing and at the end of that year as they began to pray for this girl every single day they became best friends at the end of that and that has been resonating in my heart ever since i heard i love k love by the way i need to do a post about k love um but it just started making me feel like, well, who is it that I'm not praying for? And I do remember a few weeks ago, I was having just some issues in my heart dealing with a person. And I remember instead of complaining or instead of disliking the person or dwelling on what they have done to me in the past, I prayed for them. And I remember ever since I prayed for them, like I felt good and my heart had been changed toward that person. And prayer changes, prayer works. I know it's cliche, but it is so true. Um, and one last thing, yesterday at church, you know, still speaking on uh, the topic of Job, uh, the pastor spoke about forgiveness and how Job needed to forgive his friends because they were so, they were coming against him so much during his, his trial. And I remember after the message, it, again, I started thinking, who else do I need to pray for? Am I holding any unforgiveness in my heart? Um, and I remember just standing at the altar crying like I always do. And as I began praying for family members that have hurt me, uh, both my ex-husbands, I prayed for them. And just praying for friends or people that, you know, I used to be friends with, just praying for them. I remember I just weeped like uncontrollably. Uh, praying for them but it, it's a good feeling you can't hold any hurt or resentment from people because that would just wear you down and it's not worth it it's so not worth it um so i am gonna start my prayer wall like i said i would do where i'm just gonna on a daily basis just pray for people uh people that i love people that are hard to love you gotta pray for them and just love your enemies love everybody because that's what jesus did for us so uh y'all have a blessed day